Hey, this is Anthony from Soul TV. We can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dionese Ladies Laguna Seca D Dry Jacket, available at Revzilla.com. Coming in in a handful of colors and really stealing so much of the style and classic DNA off the Laguna Seca, this is the Ladies Laguna Seca D Dry. Now, if we look at it, we're looking at three season cold weather, waterproof, and in my estimation, very much a sport, a classic sport look from Dionese. Now, Dionese has the new Aria, which is really three season warm weather in the same price range, all Mugello fabric, really more of that race fit. This guy's gonna be more of that classic sport fit. So again, you can see how it sits on Lindsay to my left. It's gonna be aggressive, but it's not overly aggressive. The exterior is going to be done in Duratex and you have Mugello stretch panels under the arms for movement. And remember, your waterproof breathability in your D-Dry lining is non-removable. It's actually a Z-liner, which means the four vents on this jacket are going to vent to the liner, not to the body. That's why I really don't recommend it for summertime riding. Fall, winter, spring, you're good to go, especially with the fact that it's going to have a fully removable full sleeve thermal liner. Now, quick note on sizing. Lindsay to my left, 58140. She's wearing a size 42. And again, you can see how it fits on her frame. Aggressive, but not overly race aggressive. It's not all stretch material. We talked about that. Use a size chart. Shouldn't be any surprises there. And if you're not sure, ladies, we are going to ship for free over 39 bucks. I'd also love it if you would click on our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV on our YouTube channel. Leave us your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Ladies Laguna Seca D-Dry. Now, diving back into the jacket itself. Classic lines from Dionese. You can see the stretch panels and you see how the normal textile just works its way around. Princess seams comes down, again, having a nice ergonomic fit pattern to it. And you can see embroidered Dionese logo across the front. You have the demon head in the front. You see some light branding across the back. Now, if we look at it, we talked about the venting. And I wanna call this out. I like the placement of these vents. The vents are gonna be outside along the biceps. And again, that's gonna be catching that air deflected around a windscreen. Really, it's set up to be a commuter, sport tour, multi-season tour. It's gonna be a versatile jacket. And again, a lot of times you see that from the commuter sport touring crowd that are riding into the cooler or more inclement times of the year. If we look at the way the sleeves are designed, if we work our way down, they're basic at the sleeve, two snap connector, and the other thing to keep in mind, it's not using the pro shape armor from Dionese, which is their more flexible city inspired armor. It's using the rock solid tried and true composite armor. Shoulders as well as elbows moving down into the forearm. This is gonna be your CE rated stuff. Pro shape is as well, but this gives you that hard impact protection. And it's actually a little bit more classic for the motorcycling world. If we look at the front as well, you're gonna notice basic hand warmer pockets. And Lindsay, pull your hair back for me there really quickly. You see along the top of the jacket, it's going to be more of a multi-season style collar when we turn her back around if we show the back of the jacket we'll open it up a little bit but it is going to be fleece lined so Lindsay turn the face that way for me and stop right there if we look at the side notice the micro elastication coming down just above the elbow again it adds aggression adds a lightweight area for accordion stretch without going for a full elasticated panel this is the black white red version and notice they gave you those pops of it's synthetic leather but you have the red that really ties it together and again black white red classic Dionese color scheme you're also going to have a pop of reflective moving your way down the forearm along the right side. Now, if Lindsay raises her arm here and stop right there, you see a few things going on here. One, Mugello stretch panel on the shoulder blade for better range of motion in the sport riding position. And two, if we move down along the side, you're gonna see this is the secondary vent. Notice these are the vents along the back. Again, those big scoops that are set up to catch that air. Remember, it's not venting to the body, but what you will have is almost that evaporative cooling effect of a lot of air circulating on top of the Z liner, on top of that D dry liner, which again is gonna allow it to transpire, allow that perspiration and that warm moist air to evaporate through it and allow it to still stay fully waterproof. Notice down at the bottom, there is a Velcro cinch. It is going to be a waist length jacket meant for more of a sports setup. Turn backwards for me, Lindsay. Pull your hair out of the way. If we look at the back of the jacket, notice it is going to be very simple. Demon logo embroidered across the top. Notice it's a two to three inch high collar. That's because it is set up to be more of a multi-season cold weather option. And notice there's no back protector. So the back of this jacket, or the back protector you'd add would be a G1. Remember, ladies jackets typically get a G1. So that might be a wave. That could be one of the other back protector inserts from Dionese. Come back around to the front for me there, Lindsay. And if we look at the collar, Let's open it up really quickly. So we open it, it's going to be your male end on the outside. If we open up the collar, 
Notice, you're going to see the red zipper, which is your waterproofing there that's baked in to give you that second layer of protection be behind the main construction. And if you open it up all the way, you're going to see nice, high, fleecy collar that's going to be very comfortable against your skin, Napoleon pocket along the inside, and there's your thermal liner, which is removable from both sides. See it right there. We have our thermal, we have our interior liner. You're going to have a basic mesh construction along the back side of the jacket. You can zip it back up. But again, no frills here, full sleeve liner moving all the way down, or full, full thermal liner rather, and then the interior, if you're riding it in the fall, if you're riding it in the spring, the weather warms up a little bit, it is going to be that mesh that's gonna allow it to be comfortable against your skin, especially if you're riding in a simple base layer or even a t-shirt. Now remember, within the Dionese line, this is going to be your three season cold weather option, fall, winter, spring. You still have the Aria, which comes into play, waterproof, non-waterproof version, and that Aria is gonna be full stretch Mugello. That's gonna hug the lines, it's gonna be much more aggressive and it's fit, whereas this guy's much more on the sports side of things. The next step in your journey, though, ladies, is to click right here, read other rider reviews of the new Dianese Women's Laguna Seca D-Dry Jacket, available at RevZilla.com. As always, you don't have to take my word for it, but I hope you learned something. Remember, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks, and if you want to talk to a lady gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to me on the YouTubes. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.